So after struggling to set, to set my area up, you guys, I'm probably, I'm exhausted already and I haven't even started filming yet. But, so today I'm gonna be doing a chit chat, kind of get ready with me for Valentine's Day. Because Valentine's Day is coming up and I wanted to use a new foundation in, um, so it's kind of like a first impression. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, which looks like this. I got the color soft beige and I really think that this is going to be too light for me but I I was thinking that the other um, shade after this was too dark. So we're going to try it out. We're going to make it work. I got this from Walmart after searching over all over for it and I was really surprised um, because Walmart had a good selection of colors and they were in stock. So yes, I got this from Walmart and I'm going to be today applying it with a beauty blender. So I'm going to prime my face. My brows are already on and I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover, um, Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I love this stuff. It has coconut water and um, it's probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers. So we're going to use that. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I do have a mirror on this side of me. Um, and excuse my voice if I sound a little raspy because I lost, my voice went out a little bit um, the other day due to like having a cold or whatever. And yeah, so that's why I kind of sound like a smoker, but I promise. So I basically just put this in my T-zone. Um, it smells so good. It smells like coconuts. And I still, I'm still stuffy too, so excuse that. Um, for today's look, I'm gonna be doing a little bit, something a little bit more, I guess, glam, you can say. I'm gonna be using some glitter, I think. Um, but to start off, I'm gonna be using my, um, BH Cosmetics Modern Matte Palette, which looks like this, and I'm gonna use the um, brown transition My shade favorite, in here. Um, blending brush from BH Cosmetics, also to blend that into my um, to my crease. It just all over. I already concealed um, or primed my my eyelash, my eye. What's this called? My eyelid. supposed to film the smash or pass video for you guys but then my voice went out so I was like maybe we should wait so let me know if you guys want us to do that and I'll link any of our other videos that we've done together down below in case some of you guys are new and haven't seen them um, but definitely let me know if you guys want to see that video or any other kind of videos with me and him together um, and I will definitely you know try to get him to get on definitely try to get him on here and film with me if you guys want to see something um let me know if you haven't seen my fashion overhaul i will post it down below for you guys to check it out i'm like in love with everything that i got from there um i've been wearing the jeans like faithfully because they are super comfortable i forget that i even have uh jeans on so like a dark brown out of the same palette right here and I'm gonna put that like on my outer crease to kind of give some more definition. Blending, I'm placing most of the product on the outer portion of my crease and then I, sorry guys, my mom calls me. She always calls me. People always call me when I'm in the middle of filming. So I'm just taking that, placing most of the dark brown shade on the outer portion of my crease, and then blending whatever's left. plans for Valentine's Day I really don't have any plans I don't think I work that day and hubby also works so I don't really know if he has anything planned I'm not you know like 
I'm really such a simple person. I don't have to have, you know, lots of gifts or anything like that. Just a relaxing night, like cuddling night is like good for me, but yeah, I don't really have plans. And plus we'll have the kids since it falls on, you know, a weekday anyway. So um, now I'm gonna go back in with that same brush and I think I'm gonna apply um, black just on the outer portion right here. I'm gonna actually use some glitter. I have um, like I have one called Stardust White and Flashing Lights. And the Flashing Lights is just like a silvery, like pretty sparkly, um, like reflecting silver. And then this one is just like white um, glitter. So which one should I use, you guys? I think I'm super excited. I'm taking the um, glitter glue that was also gifted to me by the same brand. This brand is called Bitsy, I guess, and it's from Sally Beauty Supply. I'm going to place it on my lid. And the brown together so I'm just gonna take that dark brown again and try to blend it together okay so I done both of my eyes and I tried to clean the glitter off my face I really do not use glitter because it's just so so messy but yeah so now I'm gonna take some elf liquid black liner and I'm gonna just put a wing only on the outer portion of my eye. This foundation, I've seen reviews on it, and I know it comes with like this spatula looking thing, which is probably not very sanitary, but for this, just this time, I'm gonna use it to um, apply it directly onto my face. It does smell literally like paint, like you are um, applying paint to your face, so. Definitely dislike number one so far. That's one thing I don't like. And this actually might be my color. So I just feel really weird doing that, like dabbing it directly onto my face. So I put it on my hand and I just feel like that's a little bit more high. high what is it? A little bit more sanitary, I guess. Oh, you guys, it smells just like paint. Like you're, I'm about to paint my face. Please, Jesus, don't let me break out. So I'm gonna blend it out with this beauty blender. Sorry, my phone, everybody, I told you guys, everybody wants to call me whenever I start recording. So I applied one layer of the foundation, and it's been sitting on my skin for, um, like, 15 minutes now. This is one layer. The coverage is pretty nice, and it feels good. It doesn't feel sticky or anything like that, so I'm really surprised about that. I'm going to apply some concealer now. 
And the concealer that I'm using, concealer as normal, I'm gonna highlight. And this color um, foundation actually is working for me pretty well. And from what I can tell, this foundation is very matte. I'm just gonna use a I'm gonna use a brush for it I'm gonna use this um, tapered brush from elf and I'm just gonna dip it into the product and um, use that to set my under eyes I'm gonna use that same palette you guys know I'm obsessed with this BH Cosmetics Pro Contour Palette. For like my everyday makeup looks, I've been using this shade right here as like a bronzer just to warm up my face. And I'm gonna let me know if you guys want to see that video because my foundation, like my everyday glowing foundation, is amazing. Like it looks so natural, so glowy. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, but for today, I'm gonna use this color right here mixed with this one and I'm gonna contour my cheekbones. I have really defined cheekbones already, so I don't have to do too much, thank goodness. Um, so I'm just going to put these, this in the highest portion of my cheeks and I blend it down. Today I picked up some Jamaican, not Jamaican, some African black soap um, because I heard that it was really good for like blemishes and you guys know on my chin and stuff is where um, I break out and I scar the most because I mess I pick with my um they were blinded. acne which is not good at all don't pick it I know it's hard like it's hard sometimes because you see it and it's like and I scar up really easily um so it's I don't know why I keep on messing with it but I'm just uh like an addiction like when I see something there I just have to uh, I have to get it so okay so I applied my lashes off camera these are the Vegas May I lure lashes I think and every time I wear these I'm reminded how much I hate them they're just too heavy or whatever but they look really nice but they're just too heavy and too too much for for me so I'm just gonna um, sweep away powder that was on here to be baking. I was trying to clean up um, that contour a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go into um, highlighter right quick and then I'll do my blush and then I'm going to fix my eyes, like my bottom lash line these two shades from the Carly Bybel <clears throat> palette which is my favorite of all time This video is gonna be all over the place. I'm already going through the wastelands, through the highways, through my shadow, through the sun rays, and we'll go. So, don't wanna wait. Go to Ulta, pick it up because it's seriously the bomb. Um, For blush today, I'm gonna use um, what do I want to use for blush, guys? This one, I think that's the one. And I'm just gonna take a blush brush. Which one did I say? 
This one. This one's like a bronzy. Let's, let's do this one. It's like a bronzy. like a grown and sexy Valentine's Day night, okay? That's what this is. So. These two out of the Kali Bell palette. And I'm going to use that and sweep it <clears throat> underneath um, my waterline. I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs black um, eyeliner, which is actually amazing. And I'm gonna use that to line the bottom of my my bottom lash. What is this? My waterline. super super black I'm so sorry you guys I keep sniffing and that's so gross but I'm still stuffed up so sorry um now I'm gonna um now I'm just gonna take a little brush and I'm gonna spray it with some with some fix plus and I'm gonna highlight the inner portion of my eyelid my ear, my tear duct, I guess. And I'm gonna use that to highlight my brow bone. did like the half wing because you can't even see it really but it just brings it all together now I'm gonna set my face with some fix plus really quick drown yourself in fix plus okay look how sharp that contour is for the lips I'm gonna actually do something subtle because the eyes are so dramatic. Um, first I'm going to apply some uh, mascara. This is the Wet n Wild, some protein, mega, mega protein mascara from Wet n Wild. I just picked up randomly one day after. Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the color Dreamy. So that's what I put on my lips to um, go with that brown liner. So this is the finished look for the Grown and Sexy Valentine's Night Out. That's my boo. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really liked the way that it came out. This video, I'm telling you now, is going to be all over the place, and I really, really apologize for that. But the end result is amazing, so I hope you guys like it, and if you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment down below. So if you want to see my natural makeup for Valentine's Day video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. And I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye, guys.